Wow, these guys are absolutely amazing. Now, if you haven't seen it or done it before, this is called flyboarding or hydro flight. Now, I tried it once before in Abu Dhabi and I wasn't very good. Let's take a look. So I'm back here in Florida today to give it another go. I'm going to learn the ropes, understand exactly how it works, and then hop out there and hopefully look like him by the time I'm done. We'll see. <laughs> And it's a busy afternoon here in Florida, but it's stunning. And I've seen you out there performing. You are amazing. Is it as easy as you make it look? It's honestly, it's like walking. It's like walking on water, but you're 60 feet up in the air. And for me, I can do this easier than I can walk. Now, flyboarding is a sport that, you know, it is a few years old now, but it's continual evolving. Uh, and I mean, I'm, I'm sure over the years you've uh, become quite the expert in the different tricks and things you can try. But what does it come down to? I mean, what's at the crux, what is flyboarding? So flyboarding is a water propelled board. So what you do is you take a normal jet ski, you take off the back nozzle, which is what usually pushes a jet ski forward, and you hook up a metal U-pipe to that. So all the water that's running through the jet ski actually runs through the hose, out to this board, and then out the bottom of your feet. So it just pushes you straight up in the air. The coolest part about this flyboard is that you can switch your jet ski right back to being in a jet ski in a matter of two seconds. So it's just an additional accessory. And just like driving a jet ski, you can do less RPMs, more RPMs, so that you have a lot of force or not a lot of force. Who's controlling that? Because I saw when you were going out there that there was no one on the jet ski. The time I tried it, there was someone on the jet ski. When you're a beginner, you always want to be flying with somebody that's certified as an instructor. And they'll be sitting on the ski and they'll be judging how much throttle you need or how much water pressure you need. And then once you get pretty good at it, and you don't have to be a pro to do it, we have a thing called an EMK. It's a wireless throttle that Frankie Zapata invented. And it lets you fly all by yourself. Nobody on the jet ski, and you can control your own throttle. Uh, we spoke a little bit about where the power comes from, but in terms of the actual flyboard itself, mechanically, how does it work? So what happens is the water comes through this Y pipe down here. It goes through this Y pipe, shoots up, and then goes out these nozzles. So the water comes right out underneath your feet. Well, on a flyboard, the water starts this big. By the time it hits the water, it's this big, yeah. each foot. So you have a big platform to stand on. As you said, we have a plate here. So whichever way you move your body weight is the way you're going to turn. Yeah. So once I'm up, do I want to be turning? Do I want to be standing still? Do I want to be traveling? What's the sort of aim? So if you notice, I always fly in a circle. And the reason that is, is because you're pulling the jet ski. So if you do it in a circle, you always have some sort of slack. So if once you get up and stand up, just turn a little bit. Look with your hips, look with your shoulders, look with your body. Now, final thing. Say I get up, I'm able to turn. What happens when I'm like ready to come down? <laughs> so the, I always tell people the amount of throttle you have doesn't necessarily depend on how high you are. It doesn't really make a lot of sense because if you're all the way jammed up on the throttle, you're really, really high, yeah. right? But that's power. That's how much power you have. And if you see me when I swoop down before I do a trick, yeah. I'm at full throttle. So the reason why I can come down is because I point my toes down and everything's very smoothly. So you point it down very smoothly until you get down to the water and then flatten your feet and you're in the water and you just cruise on in. All right, you make it sound easy. So I hope it's as easy as you can do it. Any final tips before I sort of um, hop in and give it a go? Just remember when you're going out there, just have fun. And it's just like if you're talking on the phone, you smile, you sound better. You, you flyboard better too. All right, I've got a smile on my face. That's so while right. I'm smiling, let's go do it. All right, here we go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I must admit, coming here today, I was so hesitant. I had a bad experience where I got shot up into the air very fast and very high and came crashing down and I vowed I would never do it again. I was told before I went out that this was so easy as long as you relax. And I must say, the moment I relaxed and was up there, it was so much fun, I couldn't help do these ones in the sky because I was that excited that I was up.
You know, Happy Gilmore might say it's all in the hips, but in this case, it's all in the ankles. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun. I've just come back in from flyboarding with Atlantic Flyboard. You know what, you can have a fear of heights, you can have a fear of sharks and water, but when you can conquer all of those and try something as fun as the flyboard, I mean, that's what life's all about, isn't it? Finding these toys that puts a smile on your face as big as mine is right now. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I am so glad that I am stubborn because this is a lot of fun.